a car. Welcome back to Power Horse. Today, we have something really exciting for you. We're taking an in-depth look at the all-new 2024 Mazda CX-90. This highly anticipated SUV is packed with features and innovations that are sure to impress. So, buckle up and let's dive right in. The CX-90 is a new nameplate for the Mazda brand that will replace the CX-9 when it goes on sale in spring 2023 as a 2024 model. CX-90 three-row SUV is poised to move the company's biggest SUV further up the luxury mountain. The CX-90 has debuted with a new turbocharged 3.3-liter inline-six engine, making either 280 or 340 horsepower, as well as a plug-in hybrid powertrain option. Mazda's premium aspirations are on full display here, with range-topping variants of the three-row eight-seater offering more luxury features than the brand's current crop of SUVs. Its styling is handsome, and the CX-90's cabin design borrows cues from the smaller CX-50 and MX-30 SUVs. The all-new architecture that the CX-90 is built on is expected to also spawn a two-row SUV named CX-70, which should go on sale shortly after the CX-90. Let's have a look at CX-90 performance. Mazda is introducing three new powertrains for the CX-90, and all of them are hybrids. The first is a turbocharged 3.3-liter inline six-cylinder, paired with a mild hybrid assist. This engine, which Mazda refers to as the 3.3 Turbo, produces 280 horsepower and 332 pound-feet. There's also an upgraded version called the 3.3 Turbo S that cranks out 340 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque when using premium gasoline. Either way, the CX-90 is getting a huge power increase compared to the CX-9's maximum of 250 horsepower from its turbocharged four-cylinder. Mazda says this engine's mild hybrid system helps to improve smoothness during acceleration and provide a slight boost in fuel economy. Now let's have a look at range and battery life of CX-90. The plug-in hybrid model comes with a 17.8 kilowatt hours battery pack that's good for an EPA estimated 26 miles of electric driving per charge. Charging at home on a 120 volt outlet will replenish the battery in a lengthy time frame, so that'd be best left for overnight charging but Mazda says just an hour and a half on a 240 volt connection will be enough to charge the battery from 20 to 80% full. Now let's see gas mileage of Mazda CX-90. The EPA has not released fuel economy estimates for the plug-in hybrid CX-90 model yet, but the inline six is rated for up to 24 miles per gallon in city and 28 miles per gallon on highway. The plug-in hybrid powertrain will likely be more efficient and is good for 26 miles of electric driving per charge according to the EPA. Let's have a look at interior quality of CX-90. To accompany its upscale exterior, Mazda has endowed the CX-90 with a stylish cabin design that features room for up to eight passengers. Opt for the second row captain's chairs and the total seating drops to seven. The fabric dashboard upholstery in the high-end models looks striking and the seats in those trims are also wrapped in soft Nappa leather. Base select trims are less plush, but no less handsomely styled. Although leather is standard starting on the preferred trim, the more upscale and buttery looking Nappa leather upholstery is reserved for premium plus trims. A 10.3 or larger 12.3 inch infotainment display is nestled into the dashboard and controlled via a click wheel on the CX-90 center console. Mazda's latest infotainment interface is easy to navigate and relatively intuitive. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard, and we expect that there will be wireless connectivity for both. The CX-90 lower trims feature a 7.0-inch digital gauge display and an 8-speaker stereo system. A larger 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster is optional as is a 12-speaker Bose Premium Stereo. Let's see CX-90 safety and driver assistance features. All CX-90s come with a suite of driver assistance features called 
iActiveSense, which includes automated emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, and more. Key safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard blind spot monitoring, standard adaptive cruise control. Let's see how much will the CX-90 cost? The CX-90 starts at $40,970, including destination, for the select trim with the 3.3 turbo engine, and at the top end, rings in at $61,325 for a premium plus trim with the 3.3 turbo S engine. The CX-90 is pricey, but if Mazda can combine new luxuries, more potent powertrains, and the CX-9's fun-to-drive spirit, it may prove a hard package to beat. Overall, the CX-90 has impressed us with its functionality, more spacious third row, sophisticated interior design, and some compelling options in the powertrain department. It seems Mazda has a good pulse on what worked and what didn't work from its previous TX-9 flagship and has attempted to make the right shifts to adjust. We'll see whether Mazda has stuck the landing when the CX-90 goes on sale this spring. What do you think about our video on Mazda CX-90? Don't forget to tell us in comment below.